Oh snap. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. My name is Patrick. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. But here you go. The top moments from Kimberly Cheadle's testimony today. This is in Insane. Here we go. You guys ready? Check this out. And uh, D Director Cheadle, the American people are watching and they're wondering if there are any questions you can answer honestly today. So, Director Cheadle, I have a series of questions, very specific questions. I want very specific answers. Most of my questions are going to demand a yes or no answer. Do you understand? I do. Okay. My first question. Both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter? Yes or no? No, thank you. <clears throat> was Whoa. this a colossal failure? It was a failure. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure is the question. Yes or no? I have admitted this is a terrible This is a failure. yes or no series of questions. Was this a colossal failure? Yes or no? Yes. Was this tragedy preventable? Yes or no? Yes. Has the Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent? Yes or no? I have always been Yes eager to or come no. You didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. You stated earlier Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's bullshit. So, Mr. Chairman, I would like to... Jeez, man. This lady is mad. Ask unanimous consent to enter into the record articles by Punchbowl News, Political Playbook, Washington Post. All uh, done at 5.24 a.m., 6.12 a.m., 6.34 a.m. Uh, a solid three to four hours before this committee got your statement. Without objection to order. Okay. Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. Okay, you say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee as we asked on July 15th? Yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That is a no. You're full of shit today. You're just being completely dishonest. Mr. Chairman. Completely dishonest. Mr. Ch Whoa. Chairman. Chairman, I want to... Mr. Ch Come on. We have to maintain decorum in this committee. Any, no matter how upset we get. Have you provided any and all memos to this committee that we've asked you on July 15th? Have you provided all memorandums within the Secret Service? I would have to get back to you on that. That is a no. You are being dishonest or lying. Like, I, I just, you're being dishonest here with this committee. These are important questions that the American people want answers to, and you're just, you're just dodging and, and talking around it in generalities. And we had to subpoena you to be here, and you won't even answer the questions. We have asked you repeatedly to answer our questions. This isn't hard. Th these are not hard questions. Um, have you provided us all communications? from the Secret Service related to that day and that rally? Have you provided this committee? We've asked for this information on July 15th. Have you provided any of this information that this committee has asked of the Secret Service, any of it? I'll have to get back to you. Have you that. even read this letter that we sent you? Did you even read this? Yes. Okay, and you have uh, said you don't know, you have no idea. Well, the answer is no. We haven't gotten a single document or piece of information or data from you or your agency in related to the rally that we have asked you for. Wow. Wow. But she just said they're being 100% transparent. They haven't gotten anything. <clears throat> so, um, is this, was uh, this... Uh, Attempted assassination of Donald Trump, a failure of training or execution or both? I think that those are answers that we need to <laughs> Training, ex execution or both? Which one? I think those are answers. All right. How many, uh, how many Secret Service personnel have lost their jobs due to this colossal failure? At this time, none.
Wow. Great question. How many Secret Service personnel have been required to take a refresher course on how not to let people shoot Donald Trump? Our personnel are currently operational. We are examining the facts of this investigation and we will make the changes necessary. What time did law enforcement become aware that there was an individual on the roof with a clear line of sight to President Trump? I am still verifying timelines. <sighs> of course, uh, nine days in, you have no answers. How many minutes went by between the time law enforcement saw and took photos of crooks and the shooting? How many minutes? I am still verifying 57 timelines. 57 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back. General Lady yields back. Before I recognize Ms. Stan, you have not been able to answer the number of agents, uh, whether or not requests were denied on additional security, whether or not law enforcement were able to engage before the shooting with the assassin, how he got on the roof, how the rifle got on the roof. You can't tell us how many shots he fired, whether the casings were recovered. You can't tell us anything about his cell phone. You can't tell us uh, whether the rally was supposed to be postponed, given the intelligence that was, you were receiving. You can't tell us whether the car had a bomb. You can't even tell us his motive. And the American people are incredibly distrustful because it has taken nine days to even get a scintilla of evidence out of you. Maybe if I was CNN or ABC or NBC, I would have gotten much more thorough and accurate information. But we have not received that in a subpoenaed hearing in front of this Congress. That is why the American people are frustrated. And I echo the bipartisan calls on this committee and all across this country that you should resign. Or maybe when the president wakes up from his nap, he can fire you. I believe you're horrified. <laughs> Man. Your ineptitude and your lack of skilled leadership is a disgrace. Your obfuscating today is shameful. And you should be fired immediately and go back to Garden Doritos. Mr. Chairman, I'll yield back. Because she worked for... Frito Lay, or she worked for Pepsi, or something like that. Oh man, go back to guarding Doritos. He said, "Ouch." I recognize Miss Lee from Pennsylvania. And now I think you're evading the answer, which is not a hard one. I am sorry that you feel that way, sir. H how else could I feel, Director Cheadle, when you're clearly avoiding a direct answer to a very simple declarative question? Luna from Florida. Director Sheetal, can you please give me the names of the individuals who are in charge of your con-op for the rally? I'm not going to release names. Can you give me today. the titles? And how no. many individuals? No. Nothing? We, we had a full advance team that was responsible who for the, advancing the How many the people are the final approval authority? There are a number of people can that you give me are a number? engaged in approving the plan. Can you give plan. me a number? No, I do not have okay. a firm number. Can you just confirm whether or not, I understand this is an open investigation, but, but in, or, in order to dispel conspiracy theorists, have you guys been able to subpoena the shooter's discord records, or has the FBI, to your knowledge? I believe that the FBI is working on those. Okay. Is it factual to say that you have not ruled out that the shooter was working with other people or persons? Again, the FBI is conducting the criminal investigation into can the shooter. Can you, at least in an effort to dispel conspiracy theories, can you confirm or deny that? At this time, we do not have that there were any other people engaged. So you believe he's acting alone? I do. Okay. Have you been made aware of multiple eyewitness reporting that there was a, a second shooter on a water tower? I do not have any information related to any second shooter. Okay, uh, the reason I asked that is because according to testimony from multiple witnesses, they did report that. And again, I, to my understanding, there were over 40 sniper teams that were briefed by the Butler ESU. And I want to make sure that people are aware, if you're saying that there's not another shooter, that we are able to clear that information because from this whole entire briefing, it doesn't seem like much information has been able to get out to the American people. So I'm trying to dispel rumors, as I'm sure you understand. Um, was it true that Secret Service was present at the Butler ESU briefing? There was a briefing between the uh, counter sniper teams was uh, that were working Secret on Service the ground. Present? Yes, to my knowledge. Okay, I want to read you a report from people that seem to be throwing you under the bus and stated that they were in attendance and that Whoa. Secret Service was not in attendance at the security briefing, according to individuals with knowledge, to also include that the AGR building where the shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks was located um, was actually not a part of their security perimeter for that. So there was not Secret Service present. <clears throat> um, it seems as... Whoa. So that when you were asked earlier from Rep. Krista Morthy about whether or not Secret Service was aware of a threat, you had said, no, they were unaware of a threat. 
And yet, according to communications, again, from law, law enforcement that were in some of these group chats, they actually had reported that Secret Service was made aware of a threat at around 5.59 p.m. as a part of the command, including Secret Service, aware of messages and requests about in, uh, information about the suspect's location. Can you please tell me if you have knowledge of that at all? Again, I think we're conflating the, the difference between the term threat and suspicious. But you guys did have knowledge at 5.59 p.m. according to those group chats, did you not? Of a suspicious individual. Okay. Um, Chairman, in my opinion, according to some of the testimony today, I feel that you have perjured yourself in some instances. And so I'm going to ask for a full review of the transcripts by staff. And if you find that to be the case, I do ask that you bring perjury charges against the director. Um, I will say this, it is very Whoa. frustrating, and I've talked to my colleagues, and we've said it to your face, that you have been up here basically stonewalling our ability to get the answers to the American people. And what I will also say is that every single member of Congress does not feel safe with you in charge. You have heard that, and I think that we are all sitting ducks with you and directing the Secret Service currently. Uh, but more importantly, it sends a message to our adversaries that we are not protected, and we are one of the strongest countries in the world, so you have essentially made us a less safe country because of it. Um, as a result of that, I'm asking you to formally step down. I share my same opinions as my Democrat colleagues. And and I also think that your efforts to bring forward a full um, investigation and report in 60 days is unacceptable. And as a result of that, I'm going to do everything in my legislative toolkit to ensure that that happens sooner rather than later. And I'm sure that you know that we brought a vote on inherent contempt against Garland for <clears throat> essentially blocking a congressional investigation. And I don't think that you should be any different. So um, I will say that I am just completely disgusted by your performance today. And I understand that you are probably in a position where you are being told not to testify, which is why we had to subpoena you. I think that goes back to Garland. But again, that is part of the uh, flushing that we need to get out of Washington, and I would be happy to assist in that process. Chairman, I yield the rest of my time. Whoa. Let me know what you think about that one in the comments, y'all. Leave a like, subscribe for more. Catch you on the next one.